Who is the core Amway um, shopper, if you will, consumer, and both in the U.S. but also globally? Yeah, it, you know what? It actually it varies by country because the ages of the countries around the globe are very, very different. Mm -hmm. So um, traditionally, as I said, we were founded in 1959. Mm -hmm. So uh, the distributors really range from Gen Y all the way up to baby boomers. The distributors do. The distributors yeah. do. Mm -hmm. And the distributors are actually major cust um, you know, consumers themselves because they really do need to understand the products mm -hmm. in order to sell them and then in order to recruit more people to become part of the business opportunity. So they're a major part of the consumers. But as with any other consumer packaged good, you want the general public to be your consumers as well. So you'll be in countries like Turkey or India where the average age is 27 mm -hmm. and you have to make sure that you have products for that or you'll be in Asia or particularly in a country like Korea mm -hmm. where the beauty market for Korea the women would utilize you know on average 11 products when they go through their daily regimen so the you know so it will vary depending on where you are in the in your in that respective country mm -hmm. so that's why it's important to really understand the local relevance and the local culture it's not necessarily one size fits all. So to borrow a, a term used in social media, influencer, uh, you know, yes. arguably you're talking about distributors as influencers yes. and using word of mouth and the power of persuasion and, you know, um, recommendation to exactly. encourage others to buy the product. So that being said, what role is social media playing in your strategy? Well, you know, strategy? it's funny because we often say that Amway was the original social network. <laughs> you know, before there was any social media, we have more than three, three million distributors across the globe. Yeah. So that's a lot of word of mouth. Sure. But now, with, with the onset of so social media, a couple of things happen. One, there are no global borders anymore. Mm -hmm. So people can see things from one, you know, one country to the next and we want to make sure what they see is consistent. Mm -hmm. The other thing is we want to make sure that when the distributors are talking about a product or you know or one of our new brands that they have all the information at their disposal. So we utilize not only social media but digital marketing. We utilize um, you know information on whatever tech you know handheld technology that they have to put it at their fingertips mm -hmm. so that while they're talking, they'll have a video in front of them yep. or they'll have a skin recommender to help them talk about what product to use or a nutrition recommender to do the same thing. And it really does put their business at their fingertips.